selection for this list came after watching several videos of the Anime Heroes Top 20 Manly Anime Heroes Countdown. While watching, I realized that I hadn't seen as an in-depth or extensive female version. So I then sat down and thought about all of the Japanese anime and manga I've watched and read and wondered just how many had notable or good female characters. More than I thought, actually. This will be the biggest project I've done so far on YouTube and I believe that I've learned from my mistakes from the aborted Trial of the Flash retrospective to make this one as good as possible. That being said, I have set a few rules for myself. One, I have to have seen the series myself or read it. So even if someone recommends a character, if I haven't seen it or read it, it won't be considered. Two, I don't have to have seen or read all of the source material the character is derived from but just enough to get the gist of the character. Three, unlike most lists where there's only one character allowed per series, I won't do that. While I won't make and have like 10 characters from one series on the list, I can guarantee that more than one series will have multiple characters on the list. Four, other than that, there are no rules. I currently don't know how many parts this will be. I will try to have as many characters in each video as possible, but I want to keep each video between 10 to 15 minutes. Schedule wise, I will try to stick to a twice a month schedule. The videos may come out more frequently depending on what's happening in my life. This whole thing will start as soon as I have at least two character videos done. Ranking wise, I'm terrible at ranking stuff that are my favorite things. That said, I do know who the first two characters will be and who the final character will be. Written versions of the videos will first appear on my Patreon page and then pop up on my website about a week or two later. Also, unless something occurs last minute, certain series won't have any characters on the list. An example would be One Piece. I'll give my reasons why in a future video. Finally, before I release who is my favorite number one female character, I will put out an honorable mentions video. The number one video should come out about a week later. So now let's begin. First up is Lust from the first Full Metal Alchemist animated series. Initially I thought she was just going to be a stereotypical cold hard femme fatale. And in both the comic and in Brotherhood she was. In the first series, her personality is more complicated. Lust is one of the seven homunculi. In the series, in order for a homunculi to be created, someone has to break the biggest rule of alchemy, bringing the dead back to life via human transmutation. What summoned is in the image of the alchemist's loved one, but doesn't have the soul or personality of them. So basically, they are the physical manifestation of the alchemist's sin. In Lust's case, she was created when Scar's brother tried to resurrect his lover. At the start of the series, she's confident, sexy, and lethal. But as the series continues on, she starts to become a more broken and insightful individual. After a while, we discover the homunculi's goal is to become human. What I liked was seeing her journey and her evolution as a character, seeing her start to show more and more vulnerability and human emotions. We get to see her backstory and her connections with other characters, such as the Elric brothers, Scar's brother, the main villain, and even the other homunculi. She wants to become human because she wants to become whole. She questions her existence and purpose in life later on. This hit home for me the first time I watched the series. I was at crossroads in my life. I questioned what I was going to do in the future and how to achieve it. Her goal was for selfish but completely human and understandable reasons. She does horrible things in the first half of the series but she grew from those experiences. I feel she had the most growth and the second most compelling character arc of any of the characters in the show. Which is pretty impressive when you consider that about half the episodes in the series were filler. But it's the best type of filler. It's the type that doesn't drag or stretch a story beyond reasonable belief. But the type that adds to the characters by making them more fully formed than they were in the original source material. While I enjoy the original comic and Brotherhood more, I do like the character arcs of Lust and Azumi Curse more in the first animated series. I just love the complexity that they had in the first animated series. Lust's story had a bittersweet ending to it, but it did feel complete. 